So when you receive your program at CS6 in the box, you'll see that it has two handles, white handles on the side. On the top, um, you'll notice there's some tape across there, packing tape. Uh, do not cut that. You want to keep the box in shape. And this is how you unbox it. You basically pull this little tab and it brings out the handle just like this. And then the handle will come out. We'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll pull the tab and pull out the handle. You can place the handles to the side. You want to hang on to them if you need to rebox the furnace for any reason. But then you can slightly pull up the package or the box. And that'll lead you to the main contents of the packaging here. So you'll see a package of some paperwork on top and some accessories in the box here. We'll go ahead and put those to the side for right now. And then we'll have the, the foam inserts that protect the furnace during shipping. So the first one in the back slides out very easily. We'll put it to the side just in case. You want to hang on to these components if you ever need to repackage the furnace for, for storage or anything like that. Simply tilt the furnace back just a little bit and then you can pull out the other foam piece. So once we have that, I can reach in and then I can lift up, it's about 60 pounds, I can lift up the furnace and place it on the counter. So we'll need some key components out of our accessories box here to initially set up the furnace. Simply we'll open up the package here and I'm going to go ahead and remove the vacuum hose and the power cable. We can close the rest of the accessories box and we'll come back to that a little bit later. So we have our vacuum pump now. I'm going to go ahead and place it on the counter next to the furnace. The vacuum pump will need to be plugged into the furnace. It runs the, its power through the furnace. So you'll take the vacuum plug and we'll plug it into this cord right here, this outlet. So now that we have the, the power to the vacuum pump connected, let's connect the vacuum hose. So we'll connect the hose to the vacuum port on the back of the furnace and the vacuum hose to the vacuum port on the vacuum. Next, we'll put the cord to the furnace. Now the furnace works off of 110 volts, but it does require 20 amp fuse. So we'll, you have to make sure you have a 20 amp fuse and you'll see that the cord or the plug kind of has that horizontal prong there and with the vertical. So your on off switch is on the back of the furnace right next to the power outlet. So the furnace will, once you initially turn it on, it'll go through a series of um, self tests. It'll test vacuum, the heating elements, each time you turn it off and turn it on. All right, so you're, once you turn on the furnace and it's initially um, gone through its initial tests, we'll want to raise the furnace head and we'll use that with the furnace head button right here. Press the button and the furnace head will slowly rise. Once it's fully lifted and you hear the, the mechanism stop, you can slowly peel that film, that protective film off, off of your cooling tray. We'll need the object plate. This is in your accessories kit. This is your centering platform. This will stay in the furnace at all times, whether you're crystallizing or centering, but in the, during initial setup, we'll need to pull that out of the protection place that plate right over the firing chamber there. So once you place the plate in there, you can lower that furnace head. We'll attach the furnace tong holder to the back of the furnace to hold your furnace tongs. So if you grab this out of your kit, you'll see it has two prongs and a screw. So we'll find each side, whether side you want to place it on, the right or the left side of the furnace, it's easy to place on there. So as you can see, we have the two prongs and the screw match up to either side of the furnace. We're going to place it on this side here. So I'll just match that up. Simply 
thread that screw and tighten it. Unique to our furnace, these are ceramic tipped uh, furnace tongs, which enable you to safely grab that zirconia crown out when it's um, pretty hot, so it'll, you can place it on the, um, the cooling tray. Put these, simply slide right in there, and you're good to go.